Three uncomfortable truths about long distance relationships, okay? Is she really your girlfriend? If you are flying a thousand miles or more to see her every month or two, and occasionally she comes to see you, is she really your girlfriend? And are you really valuing and respecting yourself? There's four billion women in the world. The one that's a thousand miles away is the only one. So something to keep in mind. The reality is long distance relationships are incredibly difficult and often do not work. Why? Well, you gotta fly to another country or across the country or a thousand miles away how often are you seeing each other? And if you're doing video calls and talking on the phone a lot, you're not creating polarity, you're acting like a girlfriend. So understand, this is problem number one. Problem number two is there turns out there's a lot of infidelity in long distance relationships because you're not there, okay? It's not a judgment, it's a reality. And so, I cannot tell you how many men I know that have had long distance relationships surprise her <laughs> by showing up early and find out she's dating other men. Because if she's only seeing you three, six or nine times a year, come on, that's not going to fill her emotional needs. And it is very common for it to become a less than uh, faithful relationship and so the third uncomfortable truth is they're not good for you how much time are you wasting on the phone how much time and money are you wasting traveling think about that you could be spending time and in investing in yourself you could be investing in a relationship that is close, that you can cultivate. When I went back into the dating pool years ago, I put a 30 mile limit on any woman I'd be willing to date because it makes a difference. Uh, I described it to somebody who didn't like that once. I said, well, if we're dating and you have an absolute horrible day and I'm home making dinner, I want to be able to say, hey, I'm making dinner. Why don't you come on over and have dinner with me? even if it's not a planned night together. Why? Because I want to be able to be there for my partner. Now, here's the funny part. There is one time long distance relationships work and they work very well. When the relationship was established and was strong and it is a temporary transfer for work. So, um, New job, one of the partners, you're dating for two or three years, you're looking long term and somebody gets a giant promotion and needs to move to wherever for a year or two. Or in a year or two, you can follow because you're finishing school, something like that. You know, Those are times a relationship can work really well because it's already established and the long distance can work as opposed to starting a relationship long distance, it is statistically unlikely it's going to run the course. So think about that. And if you have any questions, my contact information is below, links to Mentoring Men, free courses and the community is below. And do not hesitate to reach out if you have a question, brother. Talk to you later.